Hey YouTube, this is Simi Mitani for Stack96 and in this video I'm going to show you how to back up as much as you can from your Android phone up either to the cloud or to your computer. So this is a good idea to do before you root your phone but it's also a good idea to just do in general really just to make sure everything's safe and nothing's going to be lost. So firstly I'm just going to tell you what can be backed up and what can't be backed up and what can maybe be backed up depending on your circumstances. So these things can definitely be backed up. Your phone's photos, videos, calendar, contacts and texts. All of these can definitely backed up, be backed up and it's pretty easy to do so. But the things that can maybe be backed up are the app data and the music. And apps just can't be backed up before you root it. After you root your phone you can back them up. Although before you root it you just can't. So let's get started anyway. To back up your photos and videos Either connect it to the PC and then go to your phone's name in my computer, which in my case is A0001. Then go to DCIM, then go to camera, and then copy them onto your PC by just drag and drop. If you want to back it up to the cloud instead, simply go into your photos and then make sure that it's backed up to Google+. Or if you don't want to back it up to Google+, you can back it up to another service such as OneDrive, like I've done. To back up contacts, go to People or your Contact app and then go to menu and then do contacts to display and then click on the unsynced option if there's any contacts in here then that means that they're not saved or backed up anywhere they're just locally on your phone although if there isn't any contacts here that means that they're all safe and they're all backed up so you don't need to worry if you do have some contacts in this area however what you want to do is you want to go to the menu and then you want to do export to storage or to SD after you've done this then go back to the same menu go to import from SD or storage and then make sure that you import it into your Google um, account. After you do this, it will then re-import the contacts, but then instead of just importing them onto your phone, it'll import them and then sync them back up to Google. If you have already saved a video before, it'll ask you if you want to import all of them, multiple ones of them, or just a certain one. Choose a certain one and then go and find the vCAD that you just made. It's going to be the last one on the list. Calendar event should be backed up automatically because there's no option to save them locally. To save text, download the app that I should be linking down in the description or simply go to the Play Store and type in SMS Backup Plus. Now when you get into the app, connect to Google and then you press Backup. These SMS messages should then be saved to the SMS folder in Gmail. Now after you've done all of that, everything should be backed up. Or it should be backed up, but you can't be 100% sure. To make sure that everything is definitely backed up and you're not actually going to lose any data, go to settings then scroll down to Google underneath accounts and then go into sync settings and then um, press sync now and also make sure that all the options are checked that you want to be synced. Also repeat this for any other accounts that you may use on your phone. Music unfortunately can't be manually backed up but it is available on Google Play Music if you go to the website if you purchase it from there. If you didn't purchase it from there but instead uploaded it via Google Play Music then it should still be there too. And of course if you're using a different app such as Spotify or something like that then you can simply just re-download it and then re-download the songs straight from the app. Although as I said individual apps will have to be re-downloaded one by one from the start which may be a bit of a pain. So that's it, that's how you back up as much as you can on your phone. If you have any questions be sure to leave them down below in the, in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video be sure to give it a like, if you disliked it be sure to give it a dislike and, but tell me why you disliked it in the comments down below. And if you want to see more videos like this be sure to subscribe as I'll be putting out um, more videos like this in the future hopefully. And yeah that's about it, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video, see ya.